Hey guys, my name is Kevin. This is The War Against Narcissism. And in today's video, I want to talk about a post I saw on a group on Facebook about narcissism. And if you can relate to this, I want you to like and comment on this, uh, this video. And I want you to share it to help this page grow. Now, the post itself is, as it reads, it says, I was feeling very lonely and a friend suggested I get online and look up Tinder. I'm only just separated and only been alone a month. So why? I'm sure it's on here already somewhere. Am I feeling so lonely? Why do I feel like I need to jump into dating so fast? I'm not discarding and cheating and grabbing another person, am I? Right. So this person is wondering if they are being narcissistic. Uh, and of course, my opinion is that if you think you're being narcissistic because you're jumping from a relationship to another, uh, but if you think you're being you're being narcissistic, you're probably not. Narcissists don't tend to have this self awareness. And narcissists don't tend to even care if they're being narcissistic. That is, you know, one function of the dysfunction, as, as they say. Uh, narcissists do not care if they are narcissists. Uh, they either don't view themselves that way, they view themselves as, as a victim, they view themselves as they have no choice, or they think anyone would have done the same thing in their place when they do something that they shouldn't, um, and they get caught. Or they say, yeah, so <laughs> I'm a narcissist. What of it, right? So uh, if you are, uh, you know, wondering if you're doing the right thing and you're insecure about your decisions and you you don't want to be a narcissist, then you're probably not a narcissist, right? But I think it's important here to speak on this idea of jumping back into a relationship right after you just left one, right? Now I don't know the ins and outs of what the relationship was like, uh, how it ended, how it started, how it was. I, I, I don't have that information. However, I will say that if you are jumping out of a relationship with someone that seemed narcissistic to you and you are hopping back into the dating world a month after your relationship, that's probably not a good idea. And here's why. Uh, I think that when it comes to healing from not a, a relationship, but healing from codependency. Because if you were in a relationship with a narcissist, you have some level of codependency. You have some level of self-love deficiency, right? This is where the narcissist comes in and exploits you know, your self-love deficiency or your codependency and uses you. Because narcissists use people. They don't, they don't build relationships the same way that normal people do. They build relationships with people as objects as tools if i can use you you have a place in my life if i can't use you then you don't have a place in my life and of course if you have self-love abundance if you're full of self-love if, you, if you're not codependent if you're not the type of person that takes more blame than you should if you're not the type of person that will put up with you know crap that is not meant to be yours then you're not useful to a narcissist because they can't dump negativity on you right so i say that to say this when it comes to healing from codependency or healing from self-love deficiency, as Dr. Rosenberg puts it, it's really important to be alone for a while. Now, allow me to explain. When you are alone as a codependent person or as a self-love deficient person, it hurts. It hurts. For, it really hurts much more than a normal breakup, you know, for a normal person or a non-codependent person. Of course, breakups hurt and being alone is not the greatest, but if you just got out of a re relationship and in order to heal from that relationship, you think that jumping into an, a, a new relationship is going to help, it's really not. Because this fear of loneliness is what gets you into these relationships with narcissists, right? It's It goes, you don't want to be alone. You get into a relationship with someone who can sense that, you know, you are the type of person that doesn't want to be alone. And when the relationship becomes abusive, you don't leave. You stay, you make excuses, you, you know, you, you turn a blind eye to the abuse. You become, you know, you, you play ostrich, you know? So what's really important is to understand that if you take the time after a breakup or at any point to just be alone and wait until it's no longer painful to be alone it no longer hurts it's it, it's it's no longer a big deal what's going to happen is your standards for who you allow in your life is going to rise right the bar is going to rise because 
being alone was here you know as far as how you know how good it was right being alone was here but now it's here so anybody that enters your life has to now be here and no longer here as far as what they provide to your life as far as their energy as far as um you know, you know, as far as the quality of a partner that, that they are in in a relationship with you, right? Uh, if you if being alone is here, the bar for a partner is also here. As long as someone can meet you right there, you're gonna be fine with it. But if you are alone for a while and you you become used to it and you become okay with it, your your bar rises. And now a person, in order to be in your life and stay in your life, has to be here. That's the minimum, right? So, I say that to say this. Uh, for anyone that that has gone to, through a breakup or is going through a breakup, it's really, really important. You want to make sure that you stay single for a while just in order to become okay with being alone. Now, there are ways to do that, right? It, to, to, to be okay with being alone, right? Focus on yourself. Do things that you like, right? It's, you know, I, I, I think that the greatest, the greatest uh, tip that I've heard as far as how to learn to be okay with being alone is treat yourself as you would treat your friend right wake up in the morning and say hey what would you like to do today what will make you happy right and go do that if it's learning to play an instrument go do that if it's uh learning to sing go do that if it's learning to cook uh playing bowling i don't know golfing whatever it might be going for a walk uh going hiking going to the gym whatever it might be whatever it is that makes you happy go do that and you will you will soon become not only okay with being alone but you'll start to appreciate your alone time right uh, and when someone comes into your life the bar will be higher as far as what you allow in your life because being alone is no longer here on the scale of enjoyment or you know bearable it's now here and people have to meet you here in order to stay in your life so hopefully that helps you hopefully that that sheds some light on the issue for you if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the comment section below please like follow subscribe and please share with your friends and community in order to raise narcissistic abuse awareness this is the war against narcissism guys salute